brand new images, guys, from Interstellar Object 3i Atlas. And it's still mind blowing what we see there. Guys, I have reported about the 12th anomaly in my last video. I'll put that in the end screen about the rotating and the jets. And we do also have something else that scientists still cannot explain. 3i Atlas came out of Perihelion when it was closest to the sun and it wasn't broken up by the sun. It should have shattered. It's still in one piece. And then these jets, guys, these jets, it doesn't leave us alone. The 12th anomaly has to do with the jets. So watch that video. I don't want to go too deep into that. But the new images about this strange interstellar alien visitor from outside our solar system. And I'm saying alien because it is not from within our solar system. Whether it's in rock or space junk or a spaceship or whatever, it is alien. And it refuses to behave like a normal comet. Well, actually, we don't just see a tail. In the latest images, we see uh, of all the seven jets coming from the uh, surface of, of the central object, uh, some of them towards the sun, some of them away from the sun. What surprises me is that they are tightly collimated. Uh, and that is surprising because the object is rotating. The last time we checked, it has a rotation period of only 16 hours. And uh, that, uh, the, the length of these jets is a million kilometers. You would expect that uh, the material making up these jets uh, had to go across that distance over a period of a month, uh, given the typical speed of outflows from comets. And uh, during a month, it would have been smeared by the rotation. So let's have a look at this recent image from November 15. Brand new, and it's, guys, no, it's not coming from NASA. They still have not released their high-rise images that they have taken on, on October 3rd although they said they would release them. Still a mystery, because even during the government shutdown, they have released images from Mars. So what's the difference? It's still, we're still waiting and thinking what that means. Then the question is, what is going on? Uh, one possibility is that it's only the uh, pockets of ice facing the sun that are getting warmed up, but we see uh, jets going on the opposite direction, away from the sun. Another possibility is that perhaps the object broke up and what we see is the trail of material uh, from the fragments flying out. But the problem is that uh, we got the latest image and it looks like a single object in the middle. So we don't know what is going on. Of course, it's possible also that, uh, that these are thrusters from a technological object that are used to maneuver uh, or navigate. And obviously in that case, uh, they will maintain their orientation. So the verdict is still out. But this brand new image here shows something incredible. So we have to talk about this. Again, it's not just one tail, it's several tails, including a very bright anti-tail that you can see here. An anti-tail is a tail that points towards the sun. Normally, a comet's tail points away from the sun. Why do they point away from the sun? Well, there's an easy explanation for that because the sunlight and the solar winds are pushing the gas and the dust of the comet outwards. But 3i Atlas, once again, does the opposite. And this is not an optical illusion. That is confirmed in the meantime. So that's why I want to look into that again. What could possibly cause that? We want to find an explanation for this thing to be natural, right? And I'm very much looking forward to getting more data in the coming weeks. You know, that's the way science should be done. It's like a detective story. So for a regular natural comet, guys, the scientists think that an anti-tail could form from large dust particles, much bigger than usual. So to picture this, most comet dust is tiny, maybe a few micrometers wide, smaller than the thickness of a human hair, really, really small. 
But these particles that we see here at interstellar object 3i Atlas might actually be 100 micrometers across. So about 100 times bigger. So that's significantly larger. Why does that matter? Because large particles are much heavier than smaller particles, right? That sounds logical. So if they're larger, sunlight doesn't push them away that easily. So instead of being blown off in the usual direction, they can linger near the comate or even appear to stretch towards the sun. So this appears like stretching towards the sun when we look at them from Earth. Is that a reasonable explanation though? Because it wouldn't be 3i Atlas if there wasn't a catch. There is a catch, guys. To make an anti-tail look bright with these heavy particles, the comet would have to lose a huge amount of material maybe a hundred times more mass than normal fine dust. Okay, no problem, you might say. Well, let's say it that way. That is not impossible, but it's hard to explain given what we know about 3i Atlas's size and energy. I have explained that in my last video. I've given you the technical explanation for that with the math so that we really understand why the scientists are so baffled. Again, link is in the, disc in the end screen. I also have a playlist with all the three I Atlas videos. It's mind blowing. And please guys, since we're talking about that, can you give this video an early like and a hype and share it with your friends? Thank you so much. And we need to find another explanation for this, right? So scientists are searching. So another possible explanation is even simpler doesn't mean it's the more likely version, but it's simpler. And scientists are asking, is there something with this object that we're just not seeing? So maybe what we're seeing with this anti-tail isn't dust at all, but tiny fragments of ice. And when sunlight hits them, they start to evaporate almost immediately before they can even be pushed away to form a normal tail. That could make them glow briefly on the sunward side, creating what looks like an anti-tail. But that would only last for a very short time before the ice vaporizes completely, right? But we, we see this anti-tail, we've been seeing it for quite a while. Well, science needs to look at all ends. There's another version, a more speculative version, but also very interesting, guys. Maybe what we're seeing are not actual outflows at all, but jets, almost like thrusters that push 3i Atlas away from the sun in a controlled way. Because we've heard in my last video, all these anomalies that points towards maybe this is jets. There's a thrust, the acceleration, the energy, how it's moving. So these jets could cut through the solar wind, staying straight for over a million kilometers. If the material they release is moving at very high speeds, much faster than the few hundred meters per second we'd expect from normal comate gas. I've explained this in more detail yesterday. What we need to be really sure to confirm that this thing is natural, hopefully, um, we need future spectroscopic data. That means we're analyzing the light and the color that is coming from the object 3i Atlas. That should tell us how fast gas and dust is moving. If the jets are moving at just a few hundred meters per second, that would be natural. But if they're moving at several kilometers per second, that would mean it is something far more powerful that we're dealing with, something we haven't seen at all in comets before. And I have to mention Harvard professor Avi Loeb again, because he compares this whole process to detective work. And I really think that's what it is. He says each observation gives us 
one more clue. And again, we've listed the anomalies, right? Right now, he said, 3i Atlas is about to reach its closest point to Earth on December 19th. So that will be very interesting. So that's when all the telescopes around the world, including the James Webb Space Telescope, will be watching 3i Atlas very, very closely. Because, guys, this object has surprised us over and over again and keeps surprising us. It survived its close pass by the sun. It's still in one piece. It continues to show both a normal tail and an anti-tail pointing the wrong way. So whether it turns out to be a perfectly natural comet doing weird things or something even more unusual, the coming weeks will tell us a lot. And I like what Avi Loeb said, and he said, quote, science connects with people when scientists stay humble and open to learning something new. When they say we know that we don't know yet, because 3i Atlas is a perfect example of that. It's a mystery that we're still trying to solve, basically one image at a time. And we're waiting for more images, guys. I will keep you updated on this. Subscribe to this channel, check out my playlist. I'm probably giving you right now updates on a daily basis, but also about volcanoes and other stuff. Guys, check the videos here in the end screen. Interesting stuff is happening with the underwater volcanoes, but also really check my video that I made yesterday that gives you all the explanation of the current status of 3i Atlas and all the 12 anomalies. Click here. I see you in a second.